Hey, David, it's Jono. I want a $1,000 mystery box. What can you do for me? So today we have an epic video. What we're going to be doing is buying a $1,000 mystery shell box. Let's get straight onto the call with my son. Just picking up the boxes now here in Cotton Tree. It's beautiful though. Just picked up the two boxes here. I'm pretty excited to open them. He said that uh, he added a bunch of stuff that I don't already have and there is no doubles. So I'm really excited to do it. And open this box for you guys. Let's check it out when we get home. Alrighty guys, so we just went and picked up the uh, two mystery boxes here. This is a thousand dollars in shells. I have not seen what's inside. Uh, let's check it out. Let's see what we got. This is very exciting even for me. Okay, what do you think I should do? Should I sort of not look in the box or just pick out random just stuff? Pick or? it out. Alright. So this is what we got first up. This is what we're seeing. Holy crap, I see something pretty sick there. Oh, I see a lot of things pretty sick there. All right, I'm gonna just pick uh, the first thing I see, sea boobs, <laughs> epic. Uh, I'm gonna put this box down. This is the massive one, this is heavy. Okay, okay what do we got? Let's see what this is. What the heck is this? Glass sponge, oh, this is what mum has. This is the thing, the weird, the, I don't know what it's called. So this is called a glass sponge or Venus flower basket. Yeah, I've heard a lot about these. My mother actually has one. This is very cool. Look at this. So shrimp actually made this and they lived in it. Check that out. That is very cool. That is so cool. Let's put them all here. All right. We've got a baler. Classic. Wow, this is long. Holy. This is a long boy. <laughs> That's actually sick. Look at the tip. That's very cool indeed. So we got those two first up. I might put the box down here and pick it out as I go so I don't see anything. Okay. We've got a Terebra. I'm pretty sure. Fusinus, I'm pretty sure. Gotta be careful with this one though, because of this tip here. Yeah, nice. See, I have one of these here, but this one is mine. Look at that. That's sick. So that's obviously a smaller version, because that one's finished there. That's That point is perfect. Now, it looks like we got two uh, very, pretty massive um, paper figs. And we've got a giant baler. Holy moly. This thing is massive. Gotta be careful with it. Jeez. Massive baler. Wow. Jeez. Look at the size compared to my head. That's giant. Right, let's put this one next to that one. Okay, now I'll just pick something random out. We've got a partridge ton. Okay, you guys really like these. These sell really well. Uh, this one is called a uh, paper paper thin murex. That's what I call it. Set it there. Now I see a Goliath conch. Pretty common thing for me to buy. I've had these up on the site quite a lot. Very nice. These are a really nice show. I really like these. This one's got a really nice spire too. Very nice. Okay, let's grab something else out. Gotta be gentle. What's this? No idea what that is, but that is very expensive. Uh, very, very nice. $22 just for that. That's crazy. That is very cool. Okay, I see something pretty cool here. Yo. That's sick. I never bought one of these. <laughs> I got a, I got no idea what it's called either. It's obviously some sort of volute, but that's sick. Okay, what else do we got? Oh, this is the orange one, isn't it? Oh, this is worth fifty-five dollars just for this one. Holy cow! I've seen these multiple times at the markets, but I never had the guts to buy one. Okay, what else do we got? Feels like we got a bag here. Oh, we got some minis. Oh, hell yeah. Yo, what is these? What the heck? 
Oh my gosh, yo, Delfina. That's sick. I've got one of these, but it's not like as good as that. I'm not sure where it is, but I do have one. That's sick. Love that. That's epic. So that's a Delfina. Del, yeah, Del, Delfinula. Oh yeah, I've got one of these too. These ones are pretty rare as well. See, I've got mine here. Very cool. I'll put the names up of all these shells on the screen as well, as I'm going along. Yo, what's in here? Holy crap, that's giant. Holy shoot. See, this is mine. Look at the size of that. That's sick. Sheesh. What the heck are these? Oh, these are Apollones. Wow, they are super, super thin. That's very cool. Dude, I'm stoked on this one. That is giant. That is epic. Super, super rare Murex there. So we got those two there. What else do we got in here? Ooh, a, uh, what is it? Some sort of auger, I think. This one's giant too. <laughs> Lucky these are doable. This one is giant though. Look at my one. That's giant. Holy moly. So we got a deer cowrie there and an auger of some sort, I believe. Oh, these are cool. Uh, my friend, uh, Craig, my shelling friend, gave me one of these a couple of days ago. Yeah, so these ones are giant as well. This is the one he gave me. And then these are the two that I just got today. Epic. Very cool. Let's keep moving. Dude, there's so much stuff here. What the heck is that? Some sort of moon snail? Maybe a land snail or some sort? That's very cool as well, though. Looks like we've got an olive in here. Yo, that's sick color. I don't even know he sold olives. But that's very cool. No idea what that is. I'll have a photo. I mean, uh, the name up on the screen. Yo, that's big too. See, I have one of these somewhere. And this is it. That's massive. That's mine. That's the one he gave me today. Epic. Alright, let's move on. This is what we got so far. We've got so much to go through. Holy crap. Okay, what do we got? Oh, we got a massive ton. These ones... You guys really like these on the website. These ones always sell fast. Holy crap. Look at the size of that thing. Jeez. That's a giant. Okay, next up. Let's grab... What is this? Is this a ca oh, another carrier shell. Yo, there's two carrier shells. That I see in there. Holy. See, I have one of these too. But that's sick. That's a sick one. Look at that. I'll take it out the bag for you guys. You guys can have a closer look. Just gotta be careful with it. I will cut it open. Nice. So these shells that are on this uh, turban shell or topper shell are actually not glued there. The animal actually picks these up as it lives and sort of sticks it to itself for protection to sort of blend in. So that's very cool. That's one of the best I've seen. I'll leave that with it. Okay, next up. Ooh, we got a little spindle. That's sick. I'll probably be keeping that. I love the spindles, as you can see. <laughs> Very cool. All right, next up, I'm going to grab this carrier shell. Oh, no, it's not a carrier shell. What the heck is this? Oh, it's a clam. That's crazy looking. What the heck? Is it? Never seen anything like this. Not even in my books. Super, super spiky. What the heck is this? Does it open? No. That is so strange. So it is a clam of some sort, I think. But that's sick. Check that out. Running out of room here. Jeez. Put it all closer together. Okay, next up. We've got a eyed cowrie. I get a lot of these. They're very nice. Then we've got a Triton of some sort, maybe. I'm not sure. I'll have a 
the name up on screen. Let's move some around here. And we've got a Strombus, very common. Okay, what do we got in this bag? Let's open this boy up. Dude, I'm excited to see what's in that that small, uh, the smaller box. That's pretty cool. Nice ton. Little banded ton. Oh, we've got some rare ones in here. So I've got a, a Vula, some sort of a Vula, I'm pretty sure. I'll have the name up on the screen again. Next up, we have another abalone. I don't buy many abalones, but these are really nice. I don't find many either. What the heck is this? It's like a tusk. <laughs> Very cool. I'll probably be keeping this, so it's all right. Don't worry, no one will get my germs. <laughs> okay, we got a bonnet. Very cool. Yo, this goes for eight dollars. Wow, that's crazy. I find a lot of bonnets, but I've never found one like that. This one we have is. Oh boy, I'm not sure on the name of it, but I already have one, so I'll be putting this up on the site. That's mine. Alright, and that one is $8. Very cool, I'll put the price tag with it. Alright, we're running out of things in this box. Holy, we got another Volute. Hell yeah. I find these, as you can see on my table there. Just not quite like this. This one's epic. This one's really nice. These go really fast on the website too. So if you guys didn't know, I will probably be selling a lot of these on my website just so I can regain this money because this is like a grand in shells. But next up, we have a giant, some sort of clam. No idea. No idea what that is. If anyone knows what that is, drop it down in the comments. If anyone knows the exact name, I don't know if I'll be able to find it. Alright, we've got a little bit more in this box. We've got another spindle of some sort, very common as well. Nothing too crazy, you can take a look at that one. Alright, we are up to the last five. We've got another pair of sea boobs, giant pair of sea boobs though. This one's really nice. Very nice colouring. Then we've got a turbo shell. These ones are really expensive and really rare. I really like these ones. I've just never been able to buy them because they're so expensive. Then we've got two giant uh, sundials. These are giant ones. Never seen any that big. Then last up, we have an Imperial Cone. Very nice. Very common. Alright, we're going to go into the second box and I'm going to make some more room here. Alrighty, so we've just cleaned off some room here. As you can see, I still... I think we won't be able to fit all of it in because this box is huge. It is very, very heavy. I'm obviously going to do it down here and just sort of pick out what I can... What I can... Holy crap. Alright, I'm not going to look. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Let's grab this one and close it back up. Okay, we've got a giant interconnected scallop. Very nice. I've never seen one this size or this color, so that's very cool. My mother likes scallops, so I'll probably give it to her. Let's see what else we got. What's this? It's a spider. I'm just gonna look in there and see what we got. It's, it's really difficult and it's gonna take a long time. So, we've got a bunch of stuff. Holy moly, that's the biggest rose murex I've ever seen. Or lace murex, I'm not sure. But that is very cool. Very, very rare as well. Holy moly, look at the size of this. Holy. That's a cone. <laughs> that's fatty, isn't it? My goodness. That is giant. That is absolutely giant. Biggest one I've ever seen. Alright, what else we got in here? We've got a bunch of scallops. That's really pretty. Both of them are. Can this open? Oh, this can open just. Wow, that's sick. That is very cool. I might keep that. There we go, those two there. Love the Murex. Not sure on what Murex this is exactly, but I'll leave it in the packet. Very cool. Got some giant tigers here. That's actually really nice too. Very nice. Look at the faded spots on that. Very cool. And there, geez, there's so many in here. So we've got a bunch of conks here. Got another. Oh, what was that? Is that a piece from? There's a piece from another cone. So we've got a flag cone here, I'm pretty sure. Very nice. This one's giant. I'll have the name up on screen of every single one of these. Oh, look, look at all the dirt I what fell out of that. That was probably buried. Nice. Okay, we're gonna run out of room quick. 
All right, what else we got in here? Uh, what is this thing? Oh, I've seen these before. Yeah, he's had these there before. That's really cool. Check that out. I'll put the name up on the screen of this. I have no idea what this is. Oh, yo, it opens. Check that out. I didn't just break it. That just opens like that. That's sick. That's definitely going on the table. All right, let's make some room. We'll have one of each up on the table so we can fit as many as we can. Okay, what else we got in here? Anything different? Oh, what is this? Holy dude. This is giant. This is super thick. Jeez, that's heavy. Look how heavy that is. What's in that? <laughs> dude, it doesn't open. Very, very cool. That'll sit right there. Epic. All right. What else we got? We got an Ovilla. Love the Ovillas. I found one before. We'll sit that there. Okay. I'll take the camera down. Give them a better look. Okay, this is what I'm looking at. What should we grab out first? I think we should grab out the Welk. I don't get many Welk at all. This one's very nice. Very, very cool. Let's chuck that guy there. Alrighty, what else should we grab out? Come closer a bit. We've got a tortoise carry, the biggest carry on earth. Is these ones, we'll chuck him there. Remember, I'm only going to be putting one of each on the table, see if we can fit him into it like that. Holy crap, we've got a helmet in here. So this is a giant uh, bear claw. Wow, look at the color under that. I'm pretty sure this is a bear claw uh, scallop. Yeah, we're not going to fit nearly half of this stuff on this table. Uh, we'll probably rotate it through though, so we'll... Righty, so we've just made a bunch of room on the table for the rest of the stuff, so let's get going. We've got a Terebra of some sort here. We've got a bunch more Tiger Cowries. Um, wow, we've got a Topper Shell. That's really nice. Never seen one quite like that. We've got a giant... Oh, we've got tons more bigger stuff in there, in the bottom. So we've got two Horse Conchers. No, these are Trapeziums. Yeah, that's right. I've had a couple of these. Trapezium type trumpets. I'm pretty sure that's what they are. Strap this over there. Holy dooly. What is that? No idea what that is. Some sort of horse conch, I guess. We've got a tiny little uh, tortoise cowrie there. Very nice. Got a harper shell. These ones actually dig themselves into the ground like that. So you can see the rivets here are really soft that way. And then they're jagged that way, so they dig themselves under the sand, which is really interesting. Then we've got a giant turbo shell here. As you guys know, I do not buy these. Uh, I'm not personally a fan of these, but they are a pretty nice color. This is its original color as well. So they're very cool to see. All right, we've got some big boys coming up here. What on earth is this? Some sort of, tr some sort of spindle or something? No idea, but that is really nice. Very cool indeed. We've got another Avula. That's actually a long boy. We've got a Marlin Spike striated cone. This one is super, super nice. Check that out. That is very nice indeed. I really like that. We've got a Mitra. Very, very common. Wow, what the heck is going on here? That's epic. I'm keeping that for sure. I like my textiles, and that is a type of textile. All right, we've got the big boys coming up here. Wow, check that out. That is a giant topper shell. Let's take this one out. I'm pretty sure it's a topper. It might be a turban though, because of the opening. Okay, wow, that's nice, isn't it? Jeez, epic. I will be showing you guys a better look at these after we've sort of taken everything out. Let's get all these small ones off the top. No idea what this is called, but I don't find them at all. I don't buy them either. We've got a elongated Triton here. Very, very nice. Wow, that is a long Metra. That's a long boy. Nice. We've got two Telescopium cones. Very nice indeed. Very cool. We've got two yellow spot cones. That's what I call them. This one is very good condition. Uh, I do have one giant one here that I bought from Noosa once. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. Uh, but these ones are very good condition, as you can tell. Now, with 
Uh, pretty much all of these shells, I think I'm going to be just putting them on my Instagram uh, page because clearly there is hundreds of shells here and they are not all the same. They are all different. So that is going to take a long time to put onto the website. So I'll probably, I probably won't be putting them onto the website. I'll probably just be putting them on my Instagram page. So if you want to buy any of these shells, just check out my Instagram at Shellcade. I do sell a lot of shells on the website. Okay, here we have a different sort of spider conch. Uh, you can tell this one sort of has two arms up here. That's pretty cool. I would consider that a freak shell. Okay, next up we have one of these. Ah, oh, this is a giant white clam. Uh, I had one of these once, but I sold it. It was really nice. These are the pretty nice ones. I really like them. No idea what it's called, but again, I'll have the name up on the screen. Pretty sure he opens too. Maybe. Yeah, he does. See, it's interconnected in there. Which is difficult sometimes. There we go. Very nice. Pretty, pretty different. I like the red and white though. All right, we're coming up to the big ones. Let's get all that sand out. Sheesh, look at that. Looks like we've got two, three helmets. One giant conch, one volute. And another little one. Let's start off small. We've got a massive murex there. Look at this. That's beautiful. Check out those spikes. Check out that red inside. That's really nice. That's epic. Let's chuck him here. Alright, we've got the big helmet. Ooh. That's a big boy. I love my helmets. As you guys know. I've got the second biggest one in the world right behind you. Check that out. Still full of sand. As you can tell, these were not harvested. <laughs> Epic. Check that out. Small boy. <laughs> My goodness, it's full of sand. So you guys, we do not harvest shells here. These are all ethically sourced. All found in Australia. There we go. There we go, that'll do. Okay, that big boy will sit right there. Now, what should we start off first? Jesus, I didn't even notice this. No idea what sort of carry that is. But that has got a really deep black inside of that. That's very cool. And we got a little burnt Mirex here. Pretty common. Nothing too crazy. Okay, let's start off with this one. This giant Mirex. I'm gonna put this back down on the floor. So we've got some more room here. This giant Mirex. I love these ones. These, you guys love these ones as well, actually. They sell really well. This one will definitely go fast. Check that out, the spines on it up on the top here are massive too. Giant Murex. That's beautiful. Alright, my goodness. We've got another massive frog conch here. It's the same one as that small one there that we just pulled up a second ago. Let me get it out of this bag here. Jeez, that's giant. <laughs> Check that out. That massive or what? That's heavy too, that's solid. Jeez. Epic. Alright, next up. We've got the volute. Oh, I just made a mess. <laughs> Let me vacuum. Let me just get it out of the bag, get all this crap out of it. Nice. That's actually really good condition too. Really dark on the top, that's nice. So this is a volute. Very, very cool. I've had quite a few of those, maybe four or five. Okay, last couple of shelves. We've got two giant, giant bull mouth helmets. Let me, let me open this one up. There we go. This one's giant. Dude, that's massive. Check that out. That color inside's beautiful. My goodness. That's a giant, dude. All right, last big shell in the box. We've got another bull mouth. There we go. Got some cardboard. Wow, this one's beautiful inside as well. <laughs> 
Check out that collar. That's epic. Sweet. All right, we've got a couple more little shells in here. We've got three more in the box. So we've got a general cone. Very nice. Pretty nice pattern, actually. Nice black at the bottom. Then we've got that same cowrie again. No idea what it is. And then last up, we have a giant gold mouth olive. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. That's it. That's everything for the box. That was a $1,000 seashell mystery box. Obviously, that's not it. We've got a ton more on the bed. Let's go check all those out. So here is everything else. Uh, we had to move it all to the bed, obviously, and uh, we didn't want to put them on the floor. So that is what we got for $1,000 from my local uh, seashell market. Kind of stuff. My favorite thing out of all of it would for sure be this Murex. These ones are super rare, and this one is an absolute Goliath. That is massive. So if you guys want to buy any of these shells, uh, they'll all be up for sale on my Instagram page at Shellcade. Obviously, I can't keep all of these, but I will be keeping that one. I think uh, maybe I'll probably keep this Rose Murex or or Lace Murex. But I really can't keep too many. Let's go ahead and check it out over here. What we got in the second box. We've got a bunch of helmets. Bullmouth helmets. Frog conks. Murex. Cones. I will definitely be keeping this one though. That is sick. And uh, yeah. So that's what we got for a $1,000. All really, really well priced. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Alright. She was the filmer today. She did a good job I think. Alrighty, we're going to take a thumbnail now. Peace.